Well, welcome to the Engineering Heretic. My name is Mark Wilson, and today I'm going to talk about a CNC plotting program or an editing program called NC Plot. And the icon for that is this one here. And I have this up and running at the moment. We'll just uh, maximize that on the screen. Uh, we'll just close this file down. We'll just close this at the moment. Close there. And let's just talk about the uh, the interface here and how it all works. Um, at the moment, if I right-click my mouse up in the top right band up here, right-click there, you'll see that all these little ticks are on here. And at the moment, the animator is on. If I untick that there, the animator turns off. And we right click again and we can turn the animator back on again. It does come with a few things on that I don't use. Uh, one is called View Fade, which is that one there. And we'll put that up to the maximum here to 250. Um, it does make the screen rather dark and dingy if you don't put that one up. Sorry, that's uh, the fade. The animator I don't want down there. I want the, I think the view fight actually there it is there it's actually moved over a little bit uh, at the moment that's up to 100% always leave it at that uh, and right click here and take the view fade off it will still be working but you just won't see it um, the um, to move this these things around if you want to customize this you can just grab the left hand side of it with your mouse or left mouse button click your cursor and you can move these around of course you can slot them around if you like they'll even go on the screen all over the place if you want but keep them up the top there and they sort of slot around they sometimes accidentally unlatch and you end up dragging them across the screen uh, without trying and it can be a bit of a pain in the neck sometime um, at the moment where uh, the um, there's no file running over here now this is an editing program and this particular screen here will interpret what you're writing over here and we'll just go over here and go file and go new and of course i could type here let's sort of start a program all programs as far as i'm concerned can't start off with a uh, percentage and if i can find there it is a percentage and now at the moment that cursor that thing is rather small so we can change the font size in edit we come down here to font and we want to change this font size to a little bit larger here we'll go up to 16 and okay so that would change the font size a bit and we also want this in edit we want colorize which is on as well and that as we type different codes in there will change the color um, as we as we type away so start off with a percentage we'll press enter to the new line here all programs start with a an o the the letter o not a zero the letter o and we'll give this program we'll call it zero zero one and of course that comes up in a particular color uh, that's sort of irrelevant at the moment all programs I start off with uh, come with, uh, you turn a few things off, we go G, and you notice it comes up with a capital here. Um, it's set, I think it defaults to capitals. I think there's a thing in the one of the edit things saying uh, it'll do lowercase, but everything that's done in G code is usually done in capitals anyway. So G40, 40, 40, and G80. I just put a space in there but it doesn't really matter if you don't put a space in there but I just do G 80 will turn a few things off that normally are turned off but uh, as a general rule they might they, they, they turn off by themselves automatically but uh, that's what's happening here now if I press the little thing here nothing will happen because it's not actually doing anything here so uh, we won't worry too much about this but just that's how I start a program that's how I write a program and normally I can actually put it in here I want a space in here put a space in there uh, a CNC program will skip a space but normally we can do what we do is we, we put in brackets here and I'll just call it, put, type in test here test and put it in brackets again and normally when you come up on your your computer or on your on your your, your CNC <coughs> the um, you'll see the program number you'll call up the program there's the number there and then you can write in 
what your program actually is and in this case it's here just test and your your mill will just skip over this but you'll see test or whatever you write in between the brackets there so if you're doing an outer profile you'd write outer profile if you want a particular cutter size you'd say uh, um, uh, uh, six mil cutter or one quarter um, cutter or 6.35 if you want to be the metric equivalent of it and you can write that in that little box there and that will give you a reminder of what the program is and what it's about and uh, the CNC machine will just skip over that but you'll see it on the screen or on your machine and it will save you the trouble of trying to find out what the thing is. Uh, well, that's a few more things here there's a that's the um, the refresh when you type something there it will not update on this view space here without hitting the refresh button so anything you type new you'll have to hit the refresh to get it to, to show over here at the moment we have it this in the isometric view here and that is the this is the little um directions where things go this is y plus x plus and z plus this particular plane here is the x plane this one here is the y plane and of course this one here the vertical one is the z plane uh, isometrics handy for looking at things the other one you use quite a lot is this one here which is the x y plane and then you're looking directly down on the top so if we go back to there you're looking down in this direction here at the x and the y plane so uh, we'll just go back into that there and we'll toggle backs and forwards you can look at things in, in other directions but they're the ones you mostly use if I scroll my mouse button forward and back you can see this will uh, zoom in if I hit the all button there it will show there also if I hit the um, uh, the XY things there it will also zoom as well so in some respects that's a little bit of a waste of time wherever you put your cursor and scroll it will scroll from that point there so if I put that in the middle there it'll scroll there if I put it over here and scroll there It'll move backs and forwards that way, and of course, if I click that again, it will zoom all anyway. Uh, I can zoom in a box, I can positive and negative zoom a thing, I can pan it if I want as well. Uh, the other things here, um, I normally use the file thing, save and pull that little there. All these so you drop down, of course, um, but you can actually use this for file saves and things like that, and you do save as as well. Um, that's the basic interface. We'll talk about um, how to use this down the track, but uh, oh, one other thing. Uh, this setting here is for a machine configuration. That at the moment we'll set for default. Um, I believe that's probably for a mill anyway. It does have a few things that adapt to a Hass milling machine. Uh, um, horizontal mills and things like that. If you're horizontal, your X and Y will be another way around. Um, lathe and diameter, lathe on radius, a mill, which is probably the same as the default anyway, and a kuma lathe, a kuma mill, and of course a water jet cutter. But we'll just put this for default because uh, I think that will work for us anyway. Uh, that's basically the interface of how NC Plot works. You can download this on the net, um, you can get it for a 14 day trial. I think it's about 300 bucks to buy. I'm not sure if that's American dollars or not, but uh, that's kind of how the whole thing works. And uh, I'm Mark Wilson, and thanks for watching.